Hi, I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonts and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, the sewing specialist for Fonts and Porter. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to put together a quilt called To the Nines. For the pattern for this quilt, go to shopfonsandporter.com slash quilting quickly. This is an easy quilt to put together and it probably wouldn't take very long either. No. It's made totally from pre-cut two and a half inch strips. You need 21 pairs of light strips and 21 pairs of dark strips. So 42 light strips, 42 dark strips. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is kind of pair them into groups. So one pair of light strips with one pair of dark strips. So and some of the pairings may end up being a little low in contrast, but as you can see in the quilt, they work great. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is cut 10 and a half inch strips or rectangles, six and a half inch rectangles, and two and a half inch strips. Squares. And the, or squares, goodness. Okay. And, the, and the pattern will tell you how many of each you need. And so you're going to use a set of light ones. We're going to make a light block first. So all of these, and then you just need five dark squares. Mm -hmm. So we're going to first start out making the center of the block, which is just a simple nine patch. Mm -hmm. So exactly. you would lay these out in rows. So rows of three, with the light ones in between. Everybody in their place. Yeah, pretty easy. And then the, the best way is to just join them into, into uh, the horizontal rows. Yep, always work into rows, it makes it easy. We read from left to right in straight lines. So when you're working with quilt blocks, it's easy to do the exact same thing because our eyes read from left to right in straight lines. And so then, we've created three rows. Now on this, it's important that you always press toward the dark because then again, like we've talked about many times, when you go to put these together, they're going to nest perfectly. Mm -hmm. if and if those them. seams are coming up, you can kind of roll them back and forth between your fingers and they get nice and snug. And that way, when you go to um, seam them, you can open it up and you'll have perfect intersections. And just to ensure when you're stitching, a lot of times what we'll do is just put one pin in each of the intersections. I like to pin both of those just to make mm -hmm. them so get stay together. You, you exactly. get nicer corners that right. way. Quarter inch seam down this end. And once we that. join three rows, that's there what you, you get. So nice intersections, nice That's and the center of your light block. So the next thing we're going to do is put the border around it. So the first thing is put your six and a half inch rectangles on each side. It's like so putting you, a picture frame around mm -hmm. your nine patch block. Right, so it's going to look like that. It's going to look like done. that. Then you have the ten and a half inch rectangles that you cut. Maybe. And the you real put one on the top. Your, the real test of your seaming is if these if these um, border pieces fit on well, these, just the right length. These so. look like they're going to match up perfectly. perfectly. And since there are no seams in this outer border, you need to just simply press all your seam allowances towards the outside towards the edge. Border. Okay, so that's a light block. Now you're going to use the same pieces only in the reverse color way. So the six and a half inch rectangles and ten and a half inch rectangles are the dark. And then you just have five of the light squares. Mm -hmm. And this makes a dark block. So you'll make 21 light blocks, 21 dark blocks, and that's all you need for your quilt. And then we're going to put them together and they alternate light and dark. And like Colleen mentioned earlier, some of them don't have quite so much contrast. They're kind of medium, so you can decide if they're a light or a dark block. But you'll make seven rows with six blocks in each, and that'll be your top. Thanks for joining us today. To see more of our videos, go to video.fonsandporter.com.